Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll teach you how to determine the solution set of quadratic inequalities. Okay? Now, I want to start with this problem. Determine the solution set of the inequality x squared minus x minus 10 less than 2. This is a quadratic inequality because the highest power of x is 2. To solve a quadratic inequality, the first thing to do is to let one side of the inequality be 0. Okay? Now, in this case, our right-hand side is 2, and the left-hand side is x squared minus x minus 10. So, I want to allow this left-hand side to be 0. What that means is that I will take 2 to this other side. So, we have x squared minus x minus 10. If 2 crosses, it becomes minus 2. Good. So what we have now says x squared minus x minus 10 minus 2 is minus 12 less than 0. This is the inequality that we are going to solve right now. The left-hand side is quadratic and we can factorize it. So let's factorize. Two numbers that will multiply to give us minus 12 and when added to give us minus 1. Minus 1 is the coefficient of x here. So which two numbers will I multiply to give me minus 12? Those two numbers I will add to give me minus 1. The numbers are plus 3 and minus 4 because... 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. 3 plus minus 4, of course, if there's a plus here, this minus will also affect it, so give a minus. And 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Okay, so the numbers are 3 and minus 4. So this expression at the left can be written as x squared plus 3x minus 4x, then minus 12, less than 0. What we are trying to do now is to factorize, okay? So what is common to these first two is x. Bring s out. Open a bracket. x squared divided by x is x. 3x divided by x is what? 3. What is common to minus 4x and minus 12 is minus 4. Minus 4x divided by minus 4 is x. Minus 12 divided by minus 4 is plus 3. And this is what? Less than 0. The two brackets are the same, so I will just pick one. x plus 3, x minus 4. This is less than 0. What I want to do now is to set this to 0. If I set this expression on the left-hand side to 0, I will have x plus 3, x minus 4, equal to what? 0. If x plus 3 times x minus 4 is equal to 0, it means that either x plus 3 is equal to 0, or x minus 4 is equal to 0. So if x plus 3 is equal to 0, it means that x is equal to minus 3, if we solve the resulting equation. And if x minus 4 is equal to 0, Solving the resulting equation will give us x equal to 4. Now, I will prepare a number line. I will place the roots that I got on the number line. To this end, I have positive infinity. To this end, I have negative infinity. Good. Now, my inequality here says less than 0. And numbers less than zero are negative numbers. I want to divide this number line into three regions. Region 1, this is region 1, region 2, region 3. After 4, I can obtain 5, okay? 6 and all of that. Between minus 3 and 4, I have minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So I can pick any random number, let's say 2. Yes, 2 is in between minus 3 and 4. Now, to the left, extreme left, I have 
minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and all of that. So I can just choose minus 4. All these values here, we are going to use them to test for each of these regions. So whichever one satisfies this inequality, that region is true. So let's begin to test. For region 1, let's take minus 4 as the point. Minus 4 plus 3. Minus 4 plus 3 times minus 4 minus 4. Minus 4 minus 4. What will it produce? Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. Minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8. Okay? Minus 1 times minus 8 is positive 8. And positive 8 is not less than 0. I am looking for a negative number. Okay? This region 1 is out of it. Let's go to region 3. I'm using this value now, 5. This is 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 times... 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4. 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 minus 4 is 1. 8 times 1 is positive 8. This is still not less than 0. This region is automatically wrong. Let's test for region 2 now. Let's use this value 2. So we have 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 times... 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Okay? 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. And minus 10 is less than 0. That means region 2 is true. So, the solution set lies within this interval between minus 3 and 4. This is what we have now. This region satisfies this inequality. So the solution set will be minus 3 is less than x, and that x is less than 4. Question 2 says, find the solution set of the inequality 2x squared minus 5x minus 7 greater than or equal to 0. All right. We have it as 2x squared minus 5x minus 7 greater than or equal to what? 0. So let's factorize this left-hand side, okay? 2 times minus 7 is minus 14, all right? Then minus 5 is at the middle, which is the coefficient of x. So two numbers I will multiply to give me minus 14. I will add to give me 5. Multiply to get this, add to get this. And the numbers are plus 2 and minus 7. Because 2 times minus 7 is minus 14. 2 plus minus 7, of course, plus times minus is minus, will give us minus 5. So this left-hand side will now be 2x squared. In place of minus 5x, I will write plus 2x minus 7x then minus 7 greater than or equal to 0 okay so we'll factorize by grouping factorize this first two and then we'll take the last two what is common to these two 2x squared and 2x it is 2x so bring 2x out open in bracket 2x squared divided by 2x is x 2x divided by 2x is 1 what is common to this last two is minus 7 minus 7x divided by minus 7 is x then minus 7 divided by minus 7 is plus 1 greater than or equal to 0 so that 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times 1, 2x. Minus 7 times x, minus 7x. Minus 7 times 1, minus 7. The brackets are the same. I'll pick 1, x plus 1. Then 2x minus 7 will form another bracket. 
2x minus 7. This is greater than or equal to 0. So I'm going to set this left hand side to 0, then get the two values of x. This is it. The product of these two numbers is equal to 0. It means that either x plus 1 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 7 is equal to 0. Good. So from here, x is equal to minus 1. And from here, x is equal to 7 all over 2, which is equal to what? 3.5. So let's go ahead and make our number line. using the roots that we got, minus 1 and 3.5. To the extreme right, I have positive infinity. And to the extreme left, I have negative infinity. Good. Now, the inequality says greater than or equal to 0. What this means is that the left-hand side can either be 0 or a number greater than 0. And it is only positive numbers that are greater than 0, okay? So if we share this number line into three regions, like we did earlier, region 3, region 2, region 1, let's choose values in these regions. I have 3, 0 0.5, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I can choose 4 here, okay? Between minus 1 and 3.5, I can choose 0, okay? Minus... 0 is in between minus 1 and 3.5. And between negative infinity and minus 1, I can choose minus 2. So let's plug these numbers individually into this left-hand side and see which region will give us a number greater than 0. Now, let's test for region 1, okay? Let's put minus 2 here. This will now be minus 2 plus 1 times... 2 times minus 2, minus 7, okay? Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 minus 7 is minus 11. Minus minus will give me a plus. 1 times 11 is 11. Oh, plus 11 is a number greater than 0. It means that this region satisfies the inequality okay so simply do something like this having done this this equal to sign must be noted okay the value of minus one here when plugged into this expression we give us zero yes minus one plus one is zero in fact zero times every other thing here is, is equal to zero so it means that minus 1 itself is part of the solution set in this left-hand side, okay? So I'm going to shade this. Let's test for region 2, okay? Let's use 0. This will be 0 plus 1 times 2 times 0 minus 7, okay? 0 plus 1 is 1 times 2 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 7 is minus 7, and this is minus 7. This is not greater than 0, it is less than 0. So region 2 does not satisfy the inequality, okay? What about region 3? Let's use 4. This will now be 4 plus 1 times 2 times 4, minus 7. 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. Oh, 5 times 1 is 5. This is positive, greater than 0. That means region 3 satisfies the inequality. Now, we can say... Does 3.5 satisfy this inequality? Yes. Okay, let's see. If I plug in 3.5 here, 2 times 3.5 is 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. Everything here automatically becomes 0. And 0 is equal to 0. Okay, so this 3.5 satisfies it. I'm going to shade that circle. It's as simple as this. Negative 1 is part of the set. 
3.5 is also part of the set. So to write this solution set, I will write it as I'll use this this bracket negative infinity comma to one. I won't use this bracket to enclose it. I'm going to use this. This bracket shows that minus one is part of the set. Okay. Union 3.5 is part of the set. So I will use this. 3.5 comma. I'm going to wear positive infinity. Positive infinity. Use a small bracket. This is it for quadratic inequalities. Remember to subscribe, remember to like, and remember to share this video to your friends and your classmates. Keep watching.